morning everybody the train leaves in 14 minutes and I'm here with Tad fingers crossed we'll make it shouldn't be expect the time is about nine minutes to get there so it should be just fine then we're gonna get the sled out and then I gotta go right onto the train and get cracking hey everybody I've been able to get the sled here it is down there through this door up here and this sled weighs 200 pounds or about 90 kilos it's actually about 100 but I'm saying 90 to be safe now my brother's gonna say it was 85 don't exaggerate maybe it's 85 I don't know I'm gonna say 90 because I think it's 100 anyway I made it onto the country train it's leaving in four minutes and it's about an hour from here to Bargo back to where we were and isn't it funny that we couldn't ride because the sled starter motor broke but now the whole engine doesn't work anyway so we keep going Paddle power. there she goes all right, we're here at Bargo. You can see the train in the background disappearing. Isn't that lovely? Welcome, we're back. Now we've got to go to the service station, fill up the tires, and look back at when the starter motor stuffed up. All right, everybody. It turns out that the mechanic can get the engine started, and he got it started, but I can't start it. Apparently, it's flooded. He took it apart and was able to start it without the engine together. It gets more air in it or something. But when he put it all back together, and he didn't charge me anything. So, Bargo Motors, man, awesome, nice guy, great guy. I tried to pay him, he refused. Very cool guy. I'm going to go on Gab Life now at Periscope. Periscope, look for Gab Life, G A B L I F E. And we're going to have to go pedal power. So, as far as we go is as far as we go. See you soon. Hey, here we go. So, look, this is, we're finally, we're finally back at Bargo after all this time. And then. Guess what? We also get the motor running. Can you believe that? And we get it run. It's so much fun. Oof. Gone. <laughs> anyway, I'm okay. I'm actually okay. No problem. Hey everybody. All right, so we made it to the freeway. The engine started working because we got an awesome mechanic who fixed it on the way. And then it stopped and then it started again. I'll upload all the highlights onto YouTube. Don't forget GabSmacked3. So GoFundMe.com forward slash GabSmacked3. So we now have halfway point is Moss Vale, about three hours away. Now, if we make it there within three hours, that means we can keep going because that's the end of the train line for us. We got to go to Marulan. We'll see if we go. I'll update you all as we progress. Hey, hey, everybody. We made it to Barrel. 30 kilometers in three hours no not the best but it's what i expected 30 kilometers about 20 miles maybe a bit less 18 19 miles now unfortunately we've had a few problems with the sled what excuse me hey is that the choke has worn out of this ride so now the choke won't actually get off the engine so the engine can't get enough air and now the engine just dies so that's one the other thing is the chain is now wearing on the steering and if I kept pedaling it was actually gonna rip the steering to pieces so I decided to not do that anyway we got the motor going though so that was good so we got we still got as far as 30 kilometers and what does that mean that means we got another 150 kilometers or about 90 miles to go we're almost at halfway are we yeah sort of uh, it was 270 miles gonna uh, that's it <laughs>